Uh, my name is Phil Rimmer, I'm the Head Development Chef at Appetito and what we want to see today from the students is some great flavours, make sure they try and get as much flavour as they can out of the food and basically try and keep the food as honest as possible. My name is Sheila Osborne, um, I'm a Development Chef at Appetito. What I want to see from the students today is a real passion for cooking and a real passion for the ingredients that they're using. Um, as long as they show me that, then I'll, I'll mark them well. Hi, my name's Claire Ball. I'm the marketing executive for Appetito. Today, um, I'm expecting to see the same level of standard that we've seen previously from the, from the catering guys at Froome College. Um, we've, we've been lucky enough to forge some good links in the last few years with Froome College, and the standard is very high, so at the moment I'm looking to see, see more of that. Okay, everybody, let's go! Leah, what are you making today? Um, salmon with lemon and dill sauce, asparagus and potatoes, and chocolate cheesecake. Are you confident? Um, I think so. Um, I'm making vanilla cheesecake with summer fruits on the side. I'm making pork in breadcrumbs with salted potatoes and a tomato salsa sauce with um, lemon and lime ginger nut crunch. I'm making sausages in a soda sauce with mashed potato with sprouts in the mash and, um, and Swiss roll. I'm making pork apple and sage ravioli with a homemade trifle. I'm making um, a mackerel and white bait fish pie um, and for dessert I'm going to do um, profit rolls with homemade custard inside and chocolate sauce. I'm making stuffed chicken breast wrapped in bacon with new potatoes and leaves of a cheese sauce and for pudding I'm doing two things just in case it goes wrong. I'm making treacle tart and treacle sponge. I'm doing roast salmon with roasted vegetables and then for pudding, some white chocolate and vanilla mousse. Mozzarella stuffed chicken with parma ham and then cheesecake for pudding. I wasn't putting enough um, breadcrumbs in, I don't think. Okay, so was it coming out too liquidy? Okay. Can you drop the cold water on that? It'll help emulsify it. What are you doing for pudding? Cupcakes? Yeah. Wow. Muffins. Okay. I thought I'd make it because I eat lasagna quite a lot, but I've only ever eaten like chicken. So I decided to make it um, like a seafood kind of one, so I thought it would be nice to try a dish. So, so what have you got through this? What are you going to put through it, seafood wise? Uh, yeah. And um, I tried to bake my little cupcakes on like like Christmas pudding. Oh, okay, so you're going to that kind of look? Yeah. And the lemon, and the lemon, like, I think there's fantastic creativity around. I mean, they've all got their own menus, but they've all picked things that they like to eat themselves, which is massively important. And they're all trying to get the best out of the ingredients, which is what I'm really interested in. Um, some, some are farther ahead than others, but you know, some things aren't quite as technical, but it's all in the finish of it. So uh, it's great. Do you want me to give me a smack, please? Yeah. There's a lot of creativity, there's a lot of really nice versatile reasons why they've picked the menus that they're cooking. Um, and there's a lot of creativity with the ingredients as well. Um, and also a lot of people deciding to cook family favourites from their childhoods, which is really nice to see. Um, and there also seemed to be a good amount of economy going on. 
The, what I'm seeing, I'm, I'm hugely impressed with. I'm seeing such a variety of, of different dishes. I'm seeing some dishes that I've never seen before. I'm, it's all completely interesting, and I'm, I'm very excited to try the to try the dishes out there. Yeah. It's seasonal. It's seasonal. Yeah, I got that. Um, so you know, <laughs> yeah. I gave yeah. him a double tick. Yeah, I give an eight. Yeah, well, you know, it's quite forced. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have 25 minutes of cooking time left. 25. Bye. Can you see some of those potatoes? Yeah, I've put salt on this. The students have not only produced their meals today in the kitchen, but they've also had to uh, design their menus, make their menu cards, and also decide on the colouring and also the layout of their tables. Uh, they've also had to consider their reasons for choice and cook their meal within a reasonable price range with no waste in the kitchen and economical use of ingredients. Well, I think it's just a wonderful spread. Let's come into the kitchen here and there's so much uh, activity. The Finished courses look wonderful. We've got fantastic sponsorship from uh, Dairy Crest, and the judges from Appetito have come along and given their time to judge these wonderful creations from these children. So, brilliant day. Rotary's had a, a great involvement in this, and it can only be good for the college, for the club, and for these businesses in the future. Third highly recommended is Richard. If you want to come forward. Second highly recommended is Liam. Is Ryan Hughes. Well done. And second prize is Tilly. 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 Oh, 
goes on second. Okay. And the winner is Haley. Um, I'm really shocked, but even the means, I'm so happy I've had this.